بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما أنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about halosign in chest radiology Causes The common causes Less common causes and equal to the diagnosis Essential information Hello sign refers to a ring of a ground glass opacity surrounding pulmonary mass or nodule on CT scan. A ground glass opacity usually represents alveolar hemorrhage, as we see here in this X-ray, just CT scan axial view, small nodule on the left side surrounded by ground glass opacity. That ground glass obesity is the halo sign and represent alveolar hemorrhage. Differential diagnosis of halo sign. The common diagnosis is uh, angioinvasive aspergillosis. The clues for angioinvasive aspergillosis. It is occurs in immune compromised patient, especially AIDS, organ transplant, and chemotherapy. Fungal invasion with occlusion of small and medium sized pulmonary arteries A result in tissue infarction, necrosis, and hemorrhage. This is axial CT scan, non-contrast enhanced. There is a small nodule on the left side of a lobe, surrounded by ground glass obesity, and this is the whole sign. And this is caused by angioinvasive aspergillosis. Here, another patient with angioinvasive aspergillosis, a large mass lesion in the right upper lobe surrounded by ill-defined grand glass obesity. Patient was immune compromised due to chemotherapy. Here, Another example of there is pulmonary nodule in the right lung surrounded by ground glass halo representing an hemorrhage in immune compromised patient suggestive of angioinvasive aspergillosis. This common causes pulmonary metastasis, Kabusi sarcoma. Wignav's granulomatosis. Pulmonary metastasis, there is central nodule, represent metastasis, metastatic region. Hal also wants the nodule represent hemorrhage. May be seen and uncommonly with the numerous malignancies include melanoma, choriocarcinoma, and angiosarcoma. Here we see multiple nodules in both lungs, some of them surrounded by ground glass uh, obesity representing uh, hemorrhage, and this patient has the metastatic nodules from melanoma. Kabusi sarcoma usually occurs in patients with AIDS, commonly preceded by appearance of mucocutaneous lesions. There is ill-defined nodules in the peribronchial 
very wrong cardiovascular distribution. Some nodules produce halocyan due to surrounded, surrounding hemorrhage. Here we see in this patient axial contrast enhanced CT scan, multiple lung nodules on the right side in patient with AIDS. Some of these nodules surrounded by ground glass obesity, halocyan. In, and this is uh, in, typical for patient of uh, Kabusi sarcoma. And the patient has also uh, cutaneous, concurrent cutaneous disease. Wigner's granulomatosis. But there are bilateral nodules and masses, usually more than centi two centimeters in size, with no predilection for specific lung region. Approximately 50% of cases shows show calcification. L look for associated tracheal involvement in Wigner's granulomatosis. Here, you see patient with the numerous bilateral nodules in a very bronchovascular in distribution as here, 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 and there is faint ground glass uh, obesities in some of the regions as we see here and there and here. The, these findings, it is caused by Wigner's granulomatosis. A rare but important causes a bronchoalveolar carcinoma and a typical infection. Bronchoalveolar carcinoma, lipidic growth, growth along the alveolar and the bronchiolar walls and septa without stromal invasion. Halocyne is caused by infiltration of the tumors, tumor cells, infiltration of tumor cells growing in the lipidic fashion. May have internal bubbly docenses referred to pseudocavitation. As we see here, there is a, a mass lesion in the left side, anterior segment of the left upper lobe, with uh, pseudocavitation, internal pseudocavitation, and it is surrounded by uh, halocyne ground glass obesities. And this is uh, typical of bronchoalveolar carcinoma. A typical infection has been described with uh, tuberculosis, mycobacterium avium, intracellulary, cytomegalovirus, uh, herpes virus, mucor, candidiasis, coccidiomycosis, and pseudomonas infection. Here we see a nodule surrounded by uh, ground glass obesities in the superior segment of the right lower lobe, and it is caused by pseudomonas pneumonia in patient with, uh, in patient with immune compromised. Thank you very much for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another in another talk.